Um, can you tell us a bit about where Ginger is in her life when we first meet her in the film? Sure. Well, Ginger is, um, she lives in San Francisco and she works um, um, in a grocery store, a local um, store. She's worked for a while um, and uh, she's um, currently dating uh, Chili, played by the lovely Bobby Carbonelli. Um, and, um, and that's her life, really. She has a little flat that she... Um, um, actually, a very lovely flat in San Francisco, uh, but she um, that she gets help with um, through through Oggy, her ex. Um, and she's got two sons um, with Oggy, played by Andrew Dice Clay, um, and they. So she's she's sort of um, quite happy with her life. She's um, she makes do. You know, she hasn't got much money. Um, but she loves her kids and she loves working and she she's it's kind of she's happy with things and her lot and um you know she's got she loves chili um they have quite a passionate relationship um but she kind of likes that too and uh, so that's where she is at the start um so you've got yeah, chili and would... ginger sort of in place and yes. then jasmine obviously gets thrown yeah, into the mix into good sort that. of Ingredients for curry, <laughs> it is. in a way, Grilled. but um, quite sort of, a storm. Yes, yeah. how sort of spicy do things get when, when she arrives? They are. <laughs> yeah, we we did laugh about the fact that they were all spices of sorts. So was that key? Yeah, yeah, I, I liked that chili and and, and ginger makes sense. And um, uh, but I, um, it I, I, I it, yeah, it sort of creates this worlds collide. And it's two world perspectives colliding and crashing into one another. And um, Ginger, with her all, her it's very complex their relationship, and that stems from their childhood. Um, they're obviously estranged, and they um, they grew up together, um, but not didn't really carry on that. Ginger got away quite quickly and Jasmine stayed and stayed we thought um, probably more with the family and connected to the family the adopted family and the mother figure so I think uh, and Ginger has a complex relationship with <laughs> I'm going about the houses sorry um, with Jasmine through a number of issues um, through her own insecurity um, her own also um, desperate to please her. She loves her. Um, she wants to help her. But also there's the um, horrific, I mean, you, you learn quite quickly that um, through a ser series of flashbacks that the reason that probably Ginger and, uh, and Oggy didn't stay together was the fact that um, uh, there was an issue with um, Jasmine's former husband and um, embezzlement issues. Um, so uh, there, there's all that that hasn't ever really been dealt with or um, there isn't much clarity on that. And up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and it's your second time working with Woody Allen, yes. of course. Could you yeah. just tell us um, briefly just a bit about working with, with Woody for the second time and, and with Kate as well, creating that on-screen relationship? I adore them both. And... Uh, I'm gonna start crying in a minute. <laughs> I don't know, but yes, I um, uh, Woody. I love working with Woody, and didn't think I would ever be lucky enough to have the opportunity to work with him again. Kind of half of me thought, oh, I thought, does he know it's me? <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I I love his directness. He's incredibly honest. He has no time for fools or time wasters or chit chat and he's incredibly economical with his um, um, with his direction and when he's talking to you in life and that's who he is and always is and he's an incredible dramaturg and he's an incredible ability to see the whole in the tiniest moment and see how that will have a knock on effect and to watch him work and you know, see the cogs turning in such close quarters is a real gift I mean that's doesn't get better than that and and equally Kate I mean so lucky Kate to have somebody um, 
she works in a similar way to me and likes to talk about things where Woody doesn't and we expects you to be there complete. So Kate is incredibly generous. She just, she's a power house and um, she incredibly bright but has such heart. She's an m amazing balance of heart and mind. When I talk about Jasmine and when I was in Ginger's eyes, it just makes me incredibly emotional because of, you see this heart, this soul split and lost and unreachable and obtainable. And somebody who she adores, she loves her. And I oh know I'm going to well up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's Kate because she's like transforms, you know. Oh, no, embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks very much. And you managed it without welling up. <laughs> Thanks very much. Sorry. <laughs>